Up. It is an enormous eyesore in downtown Los Angeles. An abandoned luxury high rise complex covered in graffiti. Now, city leaders are taking action. They want the Chinese developer behind the mega skyscrapers to pay for the cleanup and security. But so far, little has been done to close off the buildings and stop the taggers. KTLA's Rick Chambers is live in downtown Los Angeles with the very latest. Rick. Yeah, Cher, this is as prime a piece of real estate as you're going to find in downtown L.A., once considered one of the jewels of revitalization. But for years now, it's been empty and unfinished, and the taggers and the vandals have taken it over. But earlier today, the city council finally decided that they would try to do something and turn things around. It's an embarrassment. But now we have to clean up the mess that was created by others. L.A. Councilwoman Rodriguez is referring to Oceanwide Plaza and its three graffiti bomb towers just across from Crypto Arena downtown. For weeks now, people have been sneaking into the property and tagging the exposed walls of the upper floors after unpaid security teams left the property. And the Chinese developer who went belly up in 2019 is not responding to calls. This has been a, an empty eyesore for Angelinos. At today's city council meeting, a motion targeting the developer passed unanimously. Mandating the removal of graffiti, mandating securing the site, and cleaning up the debris. Should the property owners fail to fulfill their obligations within the legally allotted time frame, that is two weeks, two weeks from today, we will not hesitate to intervene. Council members say that city crews might actually do the cleanup and then bill the developer, but there's no guarantee of any reimbursement. So the search is on now for somebody with deep pockets to take over the project. There's plenty of real estate people in this, in this town, in this country, to be able to take that over and make something of it, I think. And back out here live, it's estimated that it would cost city taxpayers more than a billion dollars if the city was to take over this site. Hence the push now for that new developer. In downtown LA, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you. Rick, thank you.